Hey there, it's John Barry 555 and it's time for me to review the season finale of Willow, that being episode 8, Children of the Womb. So it's a big climax. Um, I did get some of my expectations wrong, like I did not expect Prince Eric to come out of this hunky-dory. Okay, not quite hunky-dory. He still has to deal with everything that I could, but I expected him not to really make it out. Great on the head, he does make it out. I didn't know how he was going to go, but I thought it was going to be better for them all. Really, the only two characters I expected a poll ending for was Eric and Willow. Willow actually does have a good ending because, well, he doesn't save the day. He's there to help the other, everyone else save the day. Um, same thing with, um, with, what's his name? Um, um, Bogan. I think I got his name right. Like, he realized that, piece, that, um, whatever armor, it's not meant for him because he's not the main character. Like, it's not his story. Like, he, that was quite some magic commentary, and he gives it to Kit. It makes sense. Kit and Adora are the main characters of the Willow series. Willow is a main character, too, but they're the heart of the series. They're the ones who are carrying the story forward. Willow is serving the role of the mentor. They all fulfill character archetypes, but they all do it differently. Willow is the mentor, but unlike say Obi-Wan Kenobi, he doesn't die. Um, Alora fulfills the role kind of the chosen one, um, but also the hero. Same thing with Kit. They both actually occupy the same role of hero, um, reluctant hero at that. Um, but both of them are, they are strong, but they also do face temptations but make the right choices. Um, and you can see this from going, from the past episodes. They have, they're struggling with these choices that they have to make. But in the end, they make the right choices. Um, same thing with Borgen. Um, he, in some ways, what we figure out with him is, throughout everything going, he's acting like he's the main character. But here in the last episode, he realizes he's not the main character. So that um, um, special magical armor, he, he gives to Kit to Will, because she's, it's her journey, her story, not his. Um, so... In many ways, he kind of does fulfill the same role of Matt Mordigan from from the original movie, but not um, because he he fits more the role that um, Jade has in this series. Um, no, the not the main character, but a major secondary character. Um, in fact, they and the I think I'm trying to explain this, but I'm like. I don't think I'm convincing myself of my own explanation, if that makes sense. But anyhow, they all fulfill these different roles, um, comparable to different character archetypes in the hero's journey, but it's not all quite the same. Um, like, for example, Prince Eric, like I said, he comes out and he's now on our hero's side once again after being controlled by the crone. So it looks like the crone is finally defeated thanks to um, Laura's magic and she's finally re able to realize her full potential. So it did necessary necessary uh, it did require Prince Graydon to be killed by the crow. Or was it because of the well it's not post credit because it's right before the credits, but I think the worm is trying to recruit him to to replace the crow and is using the f the form of Lower Danon to convince him to do so. Um so that and also that's good for um Laura's actor because guess what? That means she can play a different side of her character. It's always kinda of fun when an actor gets a chance to play, you know, in, for lack of a better term, an evil version of themselves, or an appearance of an evil version of themselves. That's probably the main reason why they did Mirror, up, Mirror Universe episodes more than once in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, just to give the actor the chance to play loose, play different versions of their character. Granted, that's probably going to happen in season two, because that end sequence was entirely designed to set up um, a season two. In some ways, then, I wish they had done it. Um, I don't mind them alluding to that the worm is still out there and that there's still threats abound. But I, I like how it was done with Aloha and Kit speaking, how they acknowledge, both acknowledge that the worm is out there and is still there and Willow chimes in, we've only made it mad. Like, that's good. That was, sh you know, they often say show, don't tell, but that was tell. And what they showed, I didn't like as much. But I think that's because they hint because they didn't show. They with before they showed us, they just told us 
and gave it a little bit of a string. Um, like, hmm, speculating, but also leaving an open way to go different ways. But here with the credit sequence, it's, you know, the pre-credit sequence, it does much more a setting. This is the way we have to take the story now. And that I'm, that I'm a little bit frustrated with, because that's just not how I would have done it. Obviously, I'm not a good storyteller, otherwise I would do more than just reviews here on YouTube. But you know what I'm getting at. Um, it's not a decision I... I, I don't want to say I don't disapprove of it, but I don't approve of it either. Let's put it that way. I'm neutral on it because maybe I just need to see the way the story actually develops. But that's probably for a, a potential season two, which I don't even know if they're doing yet. Um, but you know what? Overall, I did enjoy the series. Um, I thought it was solid, a well-rounded series. There were some faults in it, like particularly the use of more modern music. Um, I did not really appreciate it. it just... Especially, it was worse in the credits than credits, so I was able to ignore it. But every now and then they did throw it in into the action that I'm like, I just don't know how I feel about this. But you know what? If the music choice is, is my only solid complaint, I think we can take it. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to end my review of episode 8. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this episode down below. Also, next week, I'm going to be doing my big season review of it, so I hope you tune in for that. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to check out any links down below. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you, always.